All right, look, guys. Um, I really have nothing at all to rant about at the moment because I've been so focused on these riots. In case you guys don't know, I live in New York, so <laughs> we've been doing. Oh yeah, all the luck in the world. We get hit by the pandemic, and now we're like one of the main riot spots in in, in America. Like it's actually kind of crazy. Like I made a joke saying that. Well, maybe oh, like a week ago. I would have gotten a fine for having a party that had like 10 people in my backyard. But now today, we are allowed to like gather by the thousands and riot or protest. So look, I'm going to talk about the riots. Not even a protest like that, but more so the riots. Because I have a bone to pick with y'all. I'm going to give you, if y'all don't want to hear about the riots, and by all means I understand, I'm going to give y'all 10 seconds to just leave. I, I won't even blame you guys. 10 seconds. Alright, yeah. Alright. Let's get into this. Yeah, what's up, guys? My name's Onala, and I, I, re I really don't want to do this. For all you people out there burning down your city burning down your targets, burning down whatever, looting, beating people up, starting fires, like just doing the most. What joy does that give you? Like, let me know. Like, if you're one of the people doing it and you're watching this video, let me know. Like, you, George might be dead, but guess what, buddy? You still live here. You know that target y'all were just like dancing around while I was in flames? Well, guess what, buddy? That's your neighborhood target. You still got a shop there. Like, what, what, what's that line 6 9 said recently? Are you dumb, stupid, or just dumb? Like, what are you doing? Like, if you want to make a difference, how about you come out during the daytime and protest like everyone else peacefully marching for the most part? In the daytime but no you, you you don't want to do that why I don't know because you're dumb stupid or dumb instead you come out at night after the protest you come out at night with your friends going gang 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 in the case of New York I believe the MTA shuts down at 1 a.m. or something like that so y'all be out there into the night with really no way back home because I highly doubt the Uber is getting in that shit show. I highly doubt your Uber driver is going to pull up where, the, where he sees a burning building and glass everywhere. <laughs> and the trains ain't working. Like for right now, speaking for New York, for all the other cities, I don't know how y'all do it. Most of y'all probably drive. But in New York, really, you, you don't need a car like that. So most of the city relies on the MTA. But to y'all who do that shit, y'all dedicated. How about you put that energy into the fucking protest? Make a sign and just yell, no justice, no peace, blah, blah, blah. Why do you have to destroy the fucking city? Now, what's funny is, at this point, this is when someone would say, Oh, Dreezy, it's not us doing the riot. It's the white people. No. It's not the white people. I mean, y'all want to blame them for the riots and whatnot and for like trying to set you guys up. Y'all want to put all the blame on them. But y'all don't want to give them props for marching with y'all in the protest. Nigga, both of y'all doing the same shit. But you both are protesting in the morning and you're both fucking destroying the city at night. Now, it might not be the same exact people, but um, the video from last night in the city... I'm sorry, but in the, maybe I saw that video for 30 seconds. In the 30 seconds of watching the Gucci store get robbed, I didn't see a single white person jump out that window. Just, just gonna put that out there. So, can you please stop blaming the white people? While it might be some of them in different places, it's not that everywhere. And when videos like that comes out, you're making everyone look fucking bad. You are not making a difference. At least, not not a difference for the good. 
you're making a difference for your own fucking selfish purposes. Tell me, what is still on that 56 inch TV going to do for George? Nothing. It's for your fucking living room. Keep it real, bitch. Like, and like, probably the worst part of like y'all doing this. And when I say y'all, I don't mean like my viewers, unless you're the one out there doing the most. But the worst part about the ones who write, I supposed to be saying more. Y'all really out there destroying all the work these people who are protesting and whatnot, what they're doing. Like these people go out in the daytime and peacefully protest and whatnot. They trying to make a change, trying to make a statement, saying we're tired of this, we're tired of being targeted by police. Which, to be honest, we are tired of it. I would like to go out. I would like to all my outdoor interactions with police to end nice. But I'm gonna keep it real, and this is sad coming from a criminal justice major like myself. When I deal with police. I really, really be on my toes because I don't know what mood he in. He in a bad mood, I could end up six feet under. Come on, bro. No one should ever have to deal with that shit. Like, hell, I had to stop my god brother one time from being beaten up or shot or however that night would have went. Because we dead ass got racially profiled like crazy one night. And he was about to really lay out the cops, and I had to get me in between, like, yo, not like this. I will not end up on CNN tonight, and neither will you. Like, y'all, y'all writers really ruining all the work these people are trying to make, all the progress they're trying to do, for your own selfish fucking gain. Come on, cuz, that's not it. Like, now you got idiots saying... Well, they're being savages anyway. That's why the police gotta do what they gotta do. That's the stigma that y'all putting on us. When y'all get caught jumping out of a fucking, what, I think that was a 10 foot drop from the Gucci shop? Matter of fact, you also know it's fucked up. In New York City, they cleaned out the fucking Soho Adidas store. Now, for those of y'all who don't live in New York or will never be in New York for whatever reason, the Adidas store in Soho is like what five or six stories. So yeah, it's pretty and it's a pretty like tall building by store standards. Y'all niggas worked harder getting to the fifth or sixth floor than y'all ever will trying to get a job. That's crazy. <laughs> Like, I just don't know. Like, what the fuck are y'all really doing out there? Like, if you're gonna go out and not make a difference for, for our future so we can so we can do better and then our future could do better, stay the fuck home. Like, by all means, just stay the fuck home. You're not making things better, bitch. You're making things a lot fucking worse. Like, alright, I, I think I'm done here. I wasn't gonna talk about this for long. I, I, I hit my point. If you guys stayed for this rant, thank you. I just had to get that out. Next week, we get back to our regularly scheduled program with the 2K rants and all that. The Switch rants. I just had to get that out. George, rest in peace. <laughs> Protesters keep doing you. The niggas out there doing the most. The rioters, the, the looters, the protesters. I'm not protest. You get what I mean. The idiots. Fuck off. Fuck all the way off. I'm Dreezy, and I, I'm just pissed. Later, y'all.